Can you tell the difference in these three pictures? One was taken with no HDR on, the other was taken with HDR plus on, and the other was taken with HDR plus enhanced turned on. Even if I show you the pictures one by one, you still might not be able to tell the differences. But if you stay with us at the end of this, another masterclass for GCAM Advanced Setting Part 2, we're going to show you how to master those little details that makes all the difference in photography. And if you're ready, let's go. Welcome back. In the first video, Best GCam 7 Plus Settings for All Android, we showed you clearly that you can actually install GCam, take a picture, and it will look kind of pale and not interesting. So uh, the problem with that uh, part one of this advanced setting, mastering GCam advanced setting, is that we did it with only GCam 7 Plus, that's 7.2. Um, but right now we're going to fix that because we're going to run through both GCAM 7.2 and GCAM 6.1, 6.2 and 6.3 to show you details because there are more, much more settings in GCAM 6. We covered a lot on saturation, but now we're going to focus on HDR for all the HDR settings, both from 7.2 down to 6.1. And we're going to start back with our picture. Starting from a very bright picture like this, we're going to guide you through to a darker picture and then glide you to even much darker picture. And with that now, we're going to now guide you through the setting in your GCAM. If you see this one now, you start noticing some little difference if you look deeply. But right now, look at this picture. The one on the right is without HDR. If you look at it critically, you would notice that there is noise almost everywhere. Then the next one is with HDR plus and the next one is HDR enhanced. So that means that there are some little little differences you could notice right now because it was taken in a dark room. Keeping GCAM 6.1 and 7.2 side by side, let's go into it. I'm going to start with GCAM 6.1. Um, I'm going to show you the quick settings and then the the advanced settings later. So, but from the quick settings, you will see that uh, the GCAM 6.1 have a lot more tweaking to the HDR more than the GCAM 7.2, as we will see soon. So I'm gonna go back to GCAM 7.2 right now because that's the one I like to snap with. And then I'm gonna also take you into the settings and guide you through it. So we're gonna start by going to the HDR setting and turn it off and take a picture. This is a very, very dark room. Um, the picture here will show you there's noise. As you can see, there is noise. I don't even need to zoom it in to show you that. And then we're gonna turn on HDR plus, and then we're gonna take another picture. If you look at the picture, like I did in the beginning of the video, you will see that there is uh, less noise than the first one without HDR. Now we're going to go back now and turn on HDR plus enhance. Now this one has a little bit more advantage but the problem is that it takes a little bit more time to take the picture. Now so that means that taking a moving object or person uh, person's uh, picture who are moving or walking, you just can't do, do it with HDR enhanced. So the difference between it and HDR enhanced is not so big, but if you are using GCAM 6.1 or 6.2 or 3 advanced setting, there are more options to actually improve uh, the HDR plus enhanced and the HDR plus picture quality. Right now, let's look at GCAM 7.2 advanced settings for HDR. Now, you will understand what I mean here. The good thing about GCAM 7.2 is that it doesn't have, although it doesn't have all that, you know, setting for tweaking, it takes good picture. As you can see, there's HDR control, um, there's a lead patcher, you can't do much on HDR with that. Uh, there's also pixel auto white balance, uh, which adds a little thing. Then the only thing there is that the enhanced frame, high, medium, low, that's just about the setting you have in advanced setting for HDR in GCAM 7.2. But that notwithstanding, it still takes good pictures with HDR as you just saw right now. 
back to 6.1 advanced setting so let's start from hdr plus parameters you can see here that you can set the hdr parameters in the quick setting so this is just the quick setting and then if you go out of the quick setting and move further you also get to the advanced setting there's also uh, exposure compensation which actually helps a little bit in hdr just like kind of exposure um if you go down again to the advanced setting uh, there's also ISO, you know, limitation in the dark. And then if you go in there, even the base, it can actually affect HDR if you tune the sensor. And then there is also HDR setting for portrait mode, a HDR plus enhanced plus for portrait mode. And so this gives you a little bit more capacity to tweak uh, although it's an older version of Gcam, the developers are really working hard to bring you know a whole lot of features. And then if you go in down again, there's going to be another advanced setting where you can go in now and then do much, 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 much more. Turn on the HDR control on and then be able to improve HDR. Next is even more interesting. Two Gcam 6.2 ports that have different settings. We're going to start from the first one. And right now we're still focusing on the HDR to show you some of the advanced setting um, that you can tweak. This time around we are in GCAM 6.2. GCAM 6.2 has a little bit of resemblance to GCAM 6.3 and a little bit of GCAM 7.2. Uh, this one was developed by Unix. As you can see, it's GCAM 6.2. Okay, if you go to the advanced settings, you're going to still see control for HDR, um, which will bring it out in the preview. Um, there's something about this one, the leaps. You just click on it to get updates and it will download libraries uh, into the camera. So usually for libraries, I use uh, Google Stock, uh, and that's where I start from. So after that, I can check other ones that might be better for my device or my camera sensor. So... If you've loaded that right now, um, you also see a whole lot of other things in the advanced setting um, for HDR. Um, if you go down now, that's that custom li lib libraries. And then uh, there's also interface uh, for saturation, pixel, auto white balance in HDR plus enhance. And then I can always select pixel 3. It's always the best for me. So this particular... Um, Gcam 6.2 it has a lot going for it but we're going to check out the other Gcam 6.2 and then for you to see the differences in the same Gcam 6.2 but this time around a different port for some specific devices and it has a lot more future than the one we just checked so let's see now if you're going right now you, you can already see that there are different 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 uh setting there is color setting high saturation here for the front camera and even the back camera and somebody asked me this about gcam 7.2 there is no setting for the front camera but this one have you also have custom libraries that you can put in then there is the advanced setting if you go into the advanced setting you will now see uh, mods you can now see a whole lot of configurations a whole lot of setting a whole lot of stuff for that you can actually tweak there's even shutter speed control in night side this is beautiful and then there is preferable iso timing and shutter uh, speed and that is very very important and it even functions for some of the hdr operation so this is very very beautiful this particular 6.2 actually has some more features than the other 6.2 gcam that we checked out so check out the advanced there is back camera setting front camera setting uh hdr plus control you see it's a whole lot of settings right inside that so whichever gcam you have you have to look out for the hdr settings and with that you'll be able to know how to tweak it a little bit and get an improved picture quality so finally let's now conclude with configuration you just go to your file uh, file manager go to there create a folder called gcam when you create a folder called gcam the g and the c have to be capital and then there is configs with capital starting with capital there is config 7 for gcam running uh, gcam 7 points 
and above. And then there is also one specifically for a different GCAM point for 7.2. There is even one that will use configuration. So it might be confusing. So I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can actually deal with configuration files. You go to your GCAM, you go to your setting, you start looking for the advanced setting, for the down-down setting, look for wherever there is safe settings, uh, configuration, config. So this one is GCAM slash configuration. So you don't even need to bother yourself, just type in any name uh, for setting and then save it. So it will automatically create the folder if the folder is not created. So because it will vary from GCAM to GCAM, I always advise people to take this route. Now this is GCAM 7.2, so you don't need to bother just going to the setting. This one actually have configuration. So look for where the configuration is, and then you'll see the folder where you save it. This one is GCAM for slash config seven, and that's, that's where you save this one. So you type any file name you want, and then you save it. Believe me, GCAM configuration setting is one of the best things that have happened to photography since we moved from black and white to colored picture. Now, once you go to the community, I'll put the link in the description, you will see a whole lot of people who have done you know, detailed work setting and tweaking and tweaking, and then they are able to do it. So just download it, the XML file, and then copy it to the folder of the GCAM configuration that you have for your device. And with one click, you restore it. So I'm going to show you how to restore. You tap, double tap on the camera uh, shutter area just beside it. It will pop out, double tap on it, it will pop out uh, the option to restore any configuration. So um, once you double tap on it, it be GCAM 7 or 6, anyone that has configuration, it will pop out like this and telling you to choose configuration. It's all about you choosing the configuration you want and then that will be it, you are camera will be restored. So I'm going to do a restoration now. This one is on a GCAM 6.1. And then you're going to see that, you see these grid lines? I'm going to double tap right now on the camera shutter area. And then it's going to come out right now. I'm going to go in and restore it. And bam, that shot, that grid lines are all gone. So subscribe to the channel if you watched up till now. And that'll be about it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe. I see. You.